Hello, everybody. I'm going to start doing a series of videos about basic networking questions that might come up in a DevOps slash SRE interview. Now, if you're going for a senior role, uh, chances are you're not going to get these questions. But if you're going for a um, junior role or entry level role, uh, there will be doubts about how much fundamental knowledge you have about networking in general. So you will be asked some of these questions. So that's the motivation for doing these videos. So the first one is used to be a very common question in interviews for any IT jobs. Uh, it has died down in, in, the, in, the recent, um, in the recent years, but um, it is really good to know the answer to this question because it helps you understand how things work in case there's any gap in your knowledge about troubleshooting. So the question is, if I put in um, in my browser, www.google.com and I get a page back, explain to me in however detail possible how that whole thing worked from my machine to whatever and back, right? What went on? The, what the interviewer is, look, interviewer is looking for in this question is what level of detail you can provide so, it, it, so he or she knows what level of detail understanding do we have of the network in the first place. So the answer to the question, the best I can do is when I put in that URL, first thing it's going to do is going to look up the IP address behind that domain name. So it's going to do some kind of NS lookup or dig or whatever, right? It's going to find find the IP address behind that domain. And once it finds the IP address, if I'm doing HTTP, it's going to try to connect to port 80 of that IP address. If I'm doing HTTPS, it's going to connect to port 443 of the domain. And it's going to hit that IP address. And it's probably going to be some kind of load balancer on the Google side, right? That load balancer is going to take that. It's like, first of all, it will do a TCP handshake, right? It's going to say, are you there? Yes. And the packet comes back. And then I say, OK, I got the packet. That's a three-way handshake that happens. And then the packet starts flowing. Once the packet starts flowing, it's going to, my browser is going to say, I need the page that relates to this. And, and, and by default, it's going to be index.html. So the load balancer on the other side can say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that request and give it to one of my thousand servers that are uh, serving that request, and one of them is gonna respond back and say, okay, here's the HTML and the packets will start flowing on the other side, right? And because the page might be will probably not fit in a packet, probably gonna be. 10 packets, 20 packets, 100 packets, I don't know. It's going to start sending the information, the HTML page that you see on the browser, right? And at the, at the at layer at layer four, this, this, this conversation is going to start, it's, it's going to happen, right? And then your browser is going to grab all the information and it's going to go through the OSI layers and it's going to go and put together the, the HTML content and show it to you in a presentation layer um, layer six on what the page should look like. So the bottom line of this is you're going through what you're going down on the OSI layer to layer one through your Wi-Fi internet, and then you're going to come back down the same layer one, but in the process, it's going to do all this processing. All right. So those, um, the, there are many ways that you can answer that question, but that's my summary of it anyway, but it also helps you prove that you understand how networks work. The second question is to see um, how can you see what connection do you have on your machine? Basically, the interview is looking for the command netstat. So I'm going to show you a demo of that. So if I do netstat by itself, I get a whole bunch of information, all the connections. If I do netstat and then grep for TST, so I only see established connections. If I do netstat minus NLR, it's a very common options to give. I get all the details I could possibly want but all the connections I have sitting on this machine, right? If I do netstat minus A, it's not gonna typo. It's gonna it's not gonna try and look up the name. It's just gonna give me the IP addresses of, um, of well, I thought they did that. Anyway, so if I did do that, I get names. I thought, I think N maybe, nope. But anyway, I'm going to look that up. If I do netstat minus nr, I get the routing table. So that's what the interview is looking for, right? Okay, I'm going to stop here now, and I'm going to see you in the next video about networking uh, questions for DevOps interviews.